Okay, Robin, Bob Galvin here. Uh, Sunday morning, beautiful out. I'm standing in front of the house here. Uh, this is 28 York Court. Um, it's a 3 2, built in 1990, been on the market 75 days, listed at 139,000. Uh, it's a, a pool home. Uh, generally, it's in good shape. The uh, floors need a good cleaning. There's some dark spots on the tile, uh, but it looks like that would certainly come up. The carpet does look new in there. Um, so, first, let me give you a look around the neighbor. Oh, uh, Florida makes it easy to buy sight unseen. They give you 15 days for you to get out for any reason whatsoever. So, if you put in an offer, once buyer and seller says yes, that starts the 15-day period. And literally, you can say, well, I don't quite like the color of the house. You don't even have to give her an answer. You don't even have to give a reason. 15-day uh, guaranteed, you get your deposit back. Uh, my videos are very honest. The so last thing I want is somebody spending money on an uh, air flight, rental car, hotel, meals, uh, it, it, that's a lot of money, only to come down and say, hey, Bob, this is nothing, like you said. I point out every single flaw. My videos are very raw footage. There's no fancy violin music and stuff like that. So, actually, that's, that's the best way. Okay, given that, let's take a look around. Here is the subject home. And I'll give you a look around the neighborhood. There's going to be a little wind roar. This camera is really susceptible to that. Nice neighborhood. House right across the street. And I guess that's looking east, kind of on a curve. Okay, driveway has a couple settlement cracks in it. That's very common. Uh, probably nine out of ten homes down here do because they build on sand. The exterior looks clean. The garage door has no dings in it. Roof, I'd say, oh, you might have about five years left in it, but I'm not a roofer. The roof does look okay. All right, coming in. Yeah, a home inspector would uh, be able to tell you that. Home inspector is paid for by the buyer. A house like this would probably be about $300. Okay, coming in is a straight shot back to the pool area. Now, if you see on the tile, you can see those dark spots. I don't know what that is, but it looks like just kind of grime, uh, and I'm sure it'll come up. Okay, this is a split house. Uh, to the right is the master bedroom, and here's the kitchen. There's where we walked in, and there's two bedrooms over here. And this would be like the, oh, dining room area, TV area here. Let me go right to this corner and give you a shot back. Okay. Ceiling fan there, that's the kitchen. And that goes into the two bedrooms. Let's look at the kitchen. Uh, tile that couldn't match it for some reason, but uh, it doesn't look obtrusive or anything. There's more of this grime. Uh, yes, indeed, it will come up. You can see my fingernails moving that stuff out. So that's, that's not an issue. No appliances dated cabinets, uh, you do have a dishwasher, tile countertop, okay, and obviously this is some kind of pantry. All right, let me go to this corner here and give you a look back. And, okay, the little cat door in the garage. Speaking of the garage, uh, garage could use a paint job, no doubt about it. Uh, I would put that shiny gray enamel on the um, floor. Some settlement cracks in the garage. 
extremely common. I just built a brand new house three years ago and I have settlement cracks in the garage, so it's a non-issue. Uh, I would paint the interior of this garage and I'd paint the floor and you'd have a good looking garage. All right, let's check out the master. Shot of the kitchen again, ceiling, walls look fine. Ceiling, walls look fine. Now we come into the master, the carpet looks new. Walls, ceiling, look fine. This would be a walk-in closet. Looks new. And this would be the bathroom area. Dated, definitely. Uh, Formica countertop. Uh, I don't know if that's a plastic sink or whatever. Um, tile, tub enclosure. You could dress it up a lot with the glass door. Okay. Kitchen area, dining room area, TV area, front door. Now let's go over to the other side of the house where the two other bedrooms are. Here's the guest bath, tile floor. I don't know how well this is coming out. It's kind of dark. Uh, single sink setup, walls, ceiling, everything look fine. Tile enclosure again. I would put the glass doors and add a lot of class to it. Alrighty, uh, two bedrooms, one here, one there. Bedroom number two uh, looks fine, no issues whatsoever. Let me go to this corner here. Closet, S uh, ceiling, and walls look fine. Not a mark in this room. Okay. Closet in between the two bedrooms. This is going to be a little dark in here. Uh, let me go right to that corner and turn around. Shot outside. All right. Carpet, I'd say, is pretty new. Ceilings, walls, are fine. This house is in actually good condition. Just got to clean up this floor. I don't know why they didn't. It'd be an easy thing to do. If I can scrape it up with my fingernails, and obviously it's it's not an issue. The outside, uh, big lanai. Only seeing a little tear in there. This that's an easy fix. You'd think it'd be a big fix being way up there. It's not. It's real easy fix. Got a door there to your outside uh, uh, pool equipment. Uh, pool is a little milky. Uh, easy fix. They just need to shoot what's called super shock it and have a pool service come in clean it up. You got a few uh, little vegetation growing here. You simply just sprayed it round up weed killer and blah 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 that'll be fixed. Uh, give you a shot over at this corner and look back at the house. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that is up on oh that was a that's in poor condition. It would it's a uh, fabric pool heater. Uh, Obviously, on its beyond its last legs, easy to replace uh, if you want a heated pool. Um, that would not be a big issue. Okay, let me come inside and give you my thoughts. <clears throat> All right, Rob. The house generally is in good shape. It's dated with the Veronica countertops uh, in the kitchen and the uh, bathrooms. 
But the tile floors are in good shape. The carpets are in excellent shape. The walls, ceiling, everything is in good shape. I would live in this neighborhood. I would live in this house. Um, that's it, over and over. I, I'm, I'm seeing really no issues other than just the dated, you, you need to replace, you need to get some appliances, not a big deal. But uh, I'm not seeing anything that would prevent me from buying a house. That's it, over and out.